Hey guys, Scott here. Early morning video for you. It's about uh, 8 o'clock. And today I'm going to show you how to wet sand and buff a tank. I just painted this yesterday, so usually we uh, wet sand them, buff them the next day. So this one came out real good. It's a Harley Black Cherry. It's a Harley tank. Uh, looks like an older Dyna. Uh, we hung it. I left this here on purpose. So I had to paint the bottom too. So customer left the hose on there. So we masked that off, taped it up. And same with the uh, pet cock fitting. So I left this on here on purpose. Uh, basically, when you start buffing, if you hang them, fold this up so it doesn't scratch the top of the paint. So basically what I do, and I've been doing this for quite a while, I've done many of these tanks, is I turn it upside down and we'll have this done in about 15 minutes tops. So I usually don't do the bottom here because it's uh, it came out real nice. When I say bottom, I mean this flat edge right here. But most soft tails and dinas have that. So wet it down, wet your paper down, make sure there's no dust on here. So basically what I do, keep your hand flat. That's very, very important. I've seen some guys use their fingerprint or fingertips or they hold the corner. Keep your hand flat. The palm of your hand is very important. It cut the peel quite a bit faster. I just move back and forth here along the bottom of the tank. As far as the corner, once you get to the corner, what you want to do is go a little bit halfway, more than halfway, so that way when it's the other way, you know that that's taken care of already, so it's not bad to overlap that. Now, if you're getting runs or fish eyes, you want to tend to those first. No sense in doing all this work and then finding out you either got to redo it, or if you have fish eyes, what you can do is Mix up a little clear, and then you can, uh, you know, brush touch that in. Fill it in, let it dry. But if you're confident that's going to take care of the fish eye, then you can go ahead and proceed doing what I'm doing now, buffing the whole tank. And then you can uh, go ahead and, uh, you know, fill in the fish eyes. Okay. We can check this. This is part 5517, about 4 inch 3M squeegee. Squeegee this down. You want it completely dull. Any shiny spots would be either orange peel or it would be like, uh, you know, hopefully not a run or pits and bondo. Hopefully you don't have those. That would be present a problem. So sometimes you can even uh, fill those in with clear coat too. Make sure you get the front real good. Okay, I'm confident that's good. Just keep turning the tank. Now the reason I do the bottom first too is because right now it's probably leaving prints on the front, top side. So they'll be very, very minor, but no sense in doing the top first and then uh, flipping it upside down, then having the prints, and then you're going to have to re-wet sand it anyway. So we've had this buffing bench for about 20 years now, so it's worked out real good for us. So I got a 4x4 four four underneath here, so it gives me just a slight tilt. Keep the hand flat. Okay. Again, make sure you get more than halfway. You can check it. See how flat that is. Okay, we got a little spot right there we gotta take care of. Okay, that looks good. So what we're gonna do now flip this over 
And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna do the concentrate on the side. Make sure it's in front of you. I've had some guys reach over here and do this. Make sure it's in front of you so you can put more leverage on it. I usually go just over the top corner. Okay, again, you want it completely dull. See how good that looks? Keep turning it. Now, if you get a lot of orange peel, this is 1500 grit, 3M half sheets. You could start with a thousand if you wanted to, but most of the time, all we do 1500 and that's it I've seen some people go to 2000 don't need to this was done yesterday paints not completely cured obviously so it a cut and buff real nice for you just keep turning it I, well I can't show you now but you'll see where I went more than halfway now when it's upright like this, you want to also go more than halfway on the downward side. Okay, that palm of your hand will really help cut this, the orange peel. So, maybe hard for you to hold, but if every once in a while what you're going to do is wash all this uh, clear mud off. So now it's facing towards me. We're going to concentrate on the top here. Watch out, most Harley tanks have these welds or a seam there. Try to stay one side or the other of it. Now, when I do the fenders, especially the larger fenders on the Harleys, on the sides, I'll cut it to where it's pretty much done. And then I'll do what I call circle sand. Do this. All your scratches are this way. Once you do this, it cuts through those. It makes it so much easier to buff. Try it, you'll see. Now on flat surfaces like this, it helps a little bit with the fenders on the side where it's concaved. That really helps out. If you're just wet sanding like this and that tank's not moving, you aren't applying enough pressure. You're going to have to hang on to that. You can see how much pressure I'm putting on it. I put quite a bit. And as far as the water, that's basically just straight water. I don't put any soap in it. So there we go. Nice and dull. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're ready buff. So you can either wipe it completely down if you're a newbie, just to double check and make sure it's completely dull. <coughs> just because you buff some of this, this crud right here, this wet stuff, it'll be fine. So, so I flip it upside down again. Okay, as far as our compounds, Here's what I use, white pad, white compound, 36060, and then we have black pad, black polish, 6094. Basically, that's all we do. If we were doing a car, we usually use the blue. Blue pad, blue polish. That really is oily, and it cleans up any mess that you have with this. So, let's dig in. So what you want to do, this is about uh, 1500, make sure the pads on there are good, 3M 5723, black is 5725, leave some down here so you can come back and get it, actually I'll turn this up to about 16 or 17, actually it's not, there we go. 
So if you're a newbie, probably 15 would be a safe speed. Again, you want to go more than halfway downward, past here. Make sure you get it good. If you, when you think you're done, buff a little, a little more. You want all the cloudiness down? Gone, I mean. Let the buffer do the work. Can you see guys see this? That does nothing. Let it heat up. Move it around. It's definitely important to go more than halfway on the corner here. So now we'll do the front. I'll go ahead and put some on the side here because we'll get to that next. A little more right there. When it starts drying up on you, go after some more. Make sure your tank's fairly sturdy on the bench. I'm used to it rocking around. If I moved it this way, right there, it'd be a little more sturdy, but I'm good with it. So we'll move this like this, and we'll do the same thing as we did the other side. Nice and slow. I got this little bit right here I can come back and get. Nice and slow. Get that corner real good. Now this is called rubbing compound, but back in the day, real gritty. This is more of a polish. So, but they call it a rubbing compound, probably because that's all they got now. So, we're gonna start on the side here. Nice and slow, get over the corner. I usually do to the front of the bone here. If you're comfortable with going up front when it's like this, go ahead and do it. If you aren't, turn the tank so you do the front. Okay, I want you to see the shine what it is right now. Okay, so we'll turn it this way, grab a little compound from over there. Do a little more. I got most of it when it was turned sideways. Get this Finish up this side. Again, you want to make sure it's glossy before you go to the black pad. So if it's cloudy, you're going to do twice as much buffing or polishing with the black pad. I just went up and got a little more compound. Okay, sides are done, turn it again. As you can see, when it's upside down, I go around in a circle, flip it over, and I go around the circle again. This is a variable speed buffer. I would highly recommend a variable speed. I'm at uh, about 1,700 RPMs right now. Be 
careful of that too. That'll tear up your thirty dollar can. So make sure that's out of your way. Okay, so what we're going to do now, I got another buffer set up for this. Obviously, if you're a home hobbyist doing this, you only have one buffer. Hopefully, you got the uh, DeWalt or the Makita variable speed. So now we want to go to the black polish. This you want to go nice and slow. If you have it, completely glossy with the white polish, the compound, this won't take much at all. Done with that. Okay, we'll go down the side here, put a little bit right here. Now in cars, sometimes we use Trizac. Got to get it even flatter. Okay, we'll flip this over. I'm just going to go ahead and spread some all over the place. That'll probably be enough for this time. I'm going to go ahead and do the front like in this position. Try to get as much as you can off the tank. It wipes off easily, the black polish. So just in case you do leave some on there, a microfiber will take it off fairly easy. Keep the buffing pad flat, especially on flat surfaces. We got some uh, body shop safe wax here. No silicone, no sealant. Whoop, shake it up real good. Kind of rushing this because I'm being videoed and I'm getting low on time. So you want to wipe it down real good so you can check it over. So I'm just going to show you the top here. Actually, we'll spin it around on the side too. Microfiber. Fold it nice and neat. Now the more US sand, the flatter you're gonna get this. There's a way of doing it slow and there's a way of doing it fairly quickly. Keep that hand flat, that's key. Keep the hand flat. Okay, there we have it, done. When you tape these up, Sometimes they bridge, especially if you have candy and a bunch of graphics. If you push down, that starts it. And then sometimes you got to razor blade the edge there. Clean this out real good for the customer. We'll clean this up. we got some tape down here. Of course, we'll remove all this. Wipe it down real good. See how good the side came out. Show quality. So we got the fenders left to do. Uh, hopefully this video helps you. If it does, appreciate the subscription. Subscribe to my channel. Thumbs up, appreciate it. Next video coming soon.